Well, welcome to the Post Show Debrief. Uh, today, a terrific show and a lot of interesting issues. But, uh, but I have to say that talking with Ed Rollins, Republican uh, strategist, former White House political director, uh, chairman of the Huckabee for President campaign, and talking with the Wall Street Journal's uh, John Fund, talking about this administration's handling of the Egyptian crisis, uh, it is, it's extraordinary, uh, I, I don't know what other word I could use, just un, it's incredible that, the, that not more has been made of the, uh, the clumsiness of this administration uh, in, in dealing with, with Egypt, uh, with Hosni Mubarak, uh, and indeed the world community uh, by the national media. The national media simply does not want to be anything, it seems, largely, but an, an accomplice to this administration. Uh, this is a time for critical judgment on the part of the national media. And instead, they're playing the role of lapdogs. And, and that really needs to change for the good of the people, for the good of the country. Uh, and, and I mean soon. Uh, in discussing uh, the president's handling of Egypt uh, with the fund and with Rollins, there's no, there's no question whatsoever that this administration really is learning on the job, and that's, and that is, both frightening and uh, disappointing. Uh, the only, the only person in this administration who's exhibiting any kind of uh, maturity in handling uh, the situation has been Secretary of State Clinton, and she isn't even apparently on point with the Egyptian government. This president is sending emissaries. He's speaking directly to the world community, talking to the Egyptian people, uh, hearing their voices. Uh, and uh, for all the world, I can't help but think of the number of times that President Obama in the Senate and as candidate for president uh, mocked President George W. Bush for his unilateralism for running, the, running down the reputation of the United States and the world community. And I have to wonder, what does this president think he's doing to the reputation uh, of the United States and the U.S. government and his administration all around the world right now? Europe, Europe saying point blank, the EU saying there will be a transition. It will be thoughtful. It will be uh, methodical. And it will not be rushed because to do so, to do so would result in elevating the Muslim Brotherhood into a more powerful position of leadership in the government that succeeds Hosni Mubarak. And all that echoes as you listen to the statesmen of Europe uh, are the words of White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs saying Mubarak has to leave and leave now. And now means now. You remember he said that? And then he said now means yesterday. Uh, the administration looks horrible in this. Uh, and hopefully they have learned something. Uh, but as I thought they might have, uh, today they started laying out demands to the Egyptian government about how they were to proceed and with whom. Uh, this administration still has much to learn. And we as a people are going to have to be extraordinarily tolerant. Of, uh, of an administration that seems to be learning on the job uh, even two years into this administration. Well, that's, uh, that's all I've got to say for this post-show debrief. A fascinating day and a frustrating day in foreign policy, as usual, it seems, uh, for this administration. Thanks for being with us for the post-show debrief. See you next on the radio.